jump. Okay, so one done. Now we just need to do other ones. I dealt with you already. Let's do the forest thing. Whatever the hell this forest thing is. You just, like, teleport over here, don't you, kid? Freaky-ass kid. Hey, has anyone seen the princess puppet? We can't really start the story without her. That sounds like daddy. Um... <laughs> I, I think I know what I need to do. She was right here. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a princess who oh, lived God. in a castle with her father, the king. The king loved her very much because daddies loved their daughters. Unfortunately, the kingdom also had an ogre who was eating travelers. Oh, dear. Because ogres do that. So, the king did what kings do, and <laughs> promised that anyone who slew the ogre would get to marry his only daughter, the princess, and become king when he died. The king's lands were very far away, oh dear. and the ogre was very large, so only one knight showed up. His name was Fred, and he was immediately in love with the princess. <laughs> Fred was a brave knight, and he marched off the next morning, singing a brave song as loudly as he could. After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. Mm -hmm. So she set off into the forest to look for him. The princess tracked Fred's footprints oh, through a okay. strange I just have to stand here. full of <laughs> scary sounds and hidden Chasms filled. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. <laughs> Wait, that's not what happened. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was actually quite amusing. Oh dear. Well, this is an interesting use of this dynamic. Eh. Uh -huh. And up, and down. She came to a wide river filled with snapping crocodiles. <laughs> she couldn't even swim. So yep. what do you think she did? She jumped she over, their over their heads. That's right. It was a magical forest where the plants seemed to know each other. She had to use magic mushrooms to get high or up. High or up. Hmm. How the hell am I supposed to do this? This is just weird. You. How the balls? Ah! And impaled on bamboo. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. <laughs> okay. So we just need these bottom two. You go bang bang now we just need to wait for you sugar eh. get up here oh fuck me unfortunately she impaled herself on the bamboo wait that's not what happened uh this guy's a horrible storyteller you know Pop up. You pop up. We'll hit you. 
friend. Fushiba. She learned to use some bendy tree branches to fling herself across a patch of deadly sharp bamboo. Yep. As the sun was setting, she came to the giant ogre's campsite. Oh god. There, the princess discovered that the ogre had captured Fred and hung him from a tree as a snack. The ogre did not appreciate visitors at all. Ah. Even Fred seemed a little embarrassed to see her. All right. So somehow I have to. This is like. Haha! Ergobar. Oh, what the? Come on. Come on. Eh. But the princess was a woman of action. And she was nimble, and the ogre was clumsy and easy to taunt. Yeah. That's when you make fun of them. You should never make fun of people, but with ogres, it's okay. Sometimes you have to. Oh, what the balls! I totally should have been lifted up there. Come on, come on. And swing. No. Come on. And hit. No, hit the damn stump, you moron. Come on, come on, you schmuck. Pfft. Thank you. Okay, so I have to. How did me hitting his nose kill me? Like, really? Honestly, I do not get up. <laughs> okay, that was just so pathetically lackluster. No, hit here, you mook. Okay, come on. Oh, that was just lame. Come on. Strike. Over. And... Oh, fuck me. Come on. Come on. And swing. Come on, pull it out. Turn around. Strike. Goodbye. Stupid and ogre. And so the princess tricked the ogre. And rescued Fred. <laughs> Fred didn't feel too good about it. He shouldn't have. He really loved the princess. Fortunately, the king told him about a giant spider that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand. So oh Fred marched off to the lair of the giant spider, Another singing one. a brave song, a little less loudly than before. <laughs> After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. So she went off looking for him again. Oh dear. Fred's footprints led her into a dark and creepy cavern, full of strange dripping sounds, kind of like the basement at school. <laughs> her footsteps echoed and echoed, until it sounded like some. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. That wasn't bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. Soon, she came to a vast pit, filled with vicious, deadly spikes. Uh -huh. It was much too big to jump over, but far off. She could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? <laughs> she used an umbrella. What? Like that nanny in that movie. <laughs> this is the Middle Ages, honey. Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know, but that's what she used. I don't, I, I don't think I have an umbrella. 
Well, you better find one, because she used an umbrella. Where am I supposed to get an umbrella? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, apparently here. Oh, uh, there we go. So, the princess bravely threw herself into the air, slowing her fall using an umbrella. Oh, Just like good. that nanny in the movie. <laughs> this is lame. Down into the cave. Deeper and deeper what? into the cavern she floated. She what? thought she could hear the hell? moaning. But maybe it was only the wind. How did I I'm I'm confused as to what the hell just went on there. Okay. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she How did I get moaning. kicked out? Maybe it was only the wind. Of This is this is weird. I don't know what I'm hitting. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. But maybe it was only the wind. Okay. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. What the fuck? This... Uh, this confuses me. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. But maybe it was only the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. I just went right past you. It's okay, though. I didn't actually need you. Finally. She landed softly. Yep. Right in a spider's web. <laughs> um. Fortunately, it was a very old web, and she was able oh, to break shit. free. Oh shit! Unfortunately, the web was the only thing holding up a giant boulder. Goodbye. The princess needed to find somewhere to hide. S huh? All right. Let's 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 try this again. Only this time, let's not fall into this cavern. Or successfully fall into the cavern again. You know, whatever works. Some of these things are a little we'll call them strange. How about we just do this? Because I don't think we can jump across it and that apparently makes more sense. Nah. Suddenly, oh. a giant spider jumped out of the shadows and attacked her. Son of a pickle. Yeah. She ran and climbed and jumped and climbed, but the giant spider was yeah. very good at climbing too. Yeah, clearly. Had eight legs and the princess only had two. Yep. Except the princess is kicking the spider's ass. Oh, what the... I couldn't jump up that? You dirty... Fortunately, the princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. Um... No. <laughs> Don't want to get caught in that. Poor spider. <laughs> Poor spider. Finally, she found Fred. Ha -ha. He was all wrapped up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. He was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really <laughs> loved the princess. The princess decided he was cute. Fortunately, <sighs> the king told him about a dragon oh, he could slay. Oh, he couldn't take care of an ogre or... Oh my god. And stop being so embarrassed. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon, singing a brave song, very quietly. <laughs> After a few days, the princess got to wondering... Why her dad kept trying to give her away? That too. <laughs> but she was worried about Fred, <laughs> so she went off to find him. Oh god. This guy totally needs to just die. Like, really? 
The dragon's mountain was cold, and the wind howled at her to turn back. There were rock slides and fiery chasms, but she was very brave and nimble, yep. just like you. Yep, yep. She wasn't going to be put off by a few deadly dangers. Come on. Come on, rock. Aha! I out-tricked you. Because just tricking you is up not as good. Up she climbed. Whoa. When she got cold, she thought about the hot buttered muffin she would make once she got Fred home. Damn it. Do you still like muffins? I love muffins. The princess hoped Fred liked muffins. <laughs> oh. Hi. Um, whoa, whoa, I died. Let's try that again. Up and over. And then up and over. Got gotcha. you. Um, oh, that's where the boulder. <laughs> okay. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the dragon's cave. <sighs> I see a dragon. So she taunted the dragon until it roared its fiery breath at her. And melted. He really should, and melted. Oh, I really wasn't expecting it to shoot its breath. I thought I had to be like, you know, close to it. Hi. What? Really? Some bitch. I figured this rock would be here to protect me, but apparently not. Hi. I'm clearly just cooking my guy. Finally, burning away the ropes that were tying up Fred. <laughs> and so <the> <laughs> they didn't do anything with the dragon. Fred lived happily ever after. Fred never had to go on another adventure again, <laughs> and they had hot buttered muffins every morning. There is another version of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures, but that's for another day. Yeah, let's not do that one. Yay! Yay, Dawn, you did it! I think this is the first time she actually says her name. But although that didn't actually rectify anything, that just made me do the story this one time. I'm not going to do it every time. Jesus. All right. So now we've got that last attraction. I don't remember. Oh, it's the ship. 